In 2019, Savannah Hall took a 23andMe DNA test to assist in the discovery of three missing siblings that have gone missing since the 1960s. After three years and two reunions, the third and final sibling has been found. So I took a 23andMe and then I got back a result and somebody had a significant amount of DNA matched to me. So we messaged him and it turned out to be the first brother that we found three years ago, Bill. So since these three years, we've actually been able to find all of the missing siblings now. And that's who we have here today. Um, we found Keith next, and then we found Debbie, which is the missing sister, the last link. Since the test, siblings Bill Waite, Keith Kraft, and finally Debbie Dahlgren have been reunited at last. Sibling Mina Pinson says having everyone back together is closure. Well, I knew about everybody, but they didn't know about me. And I have looked for them for years, but never been able to find them until we did this DNA thing. So it's been a long process for me and it's, it's closure. I found everybody, found everybody. We are Pikeville Medical Center and we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here, all who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. Due to New York adoption records being sealed, a name change, and lack of technology, Pinson couldn't connect with family members until a DNA test was performed. With everyone back together, Pinson says she hopes to continue connecting with family members. Well, hopefully many, many, many more reunions, that's right? Right, that's right. right. That's right. Many more reunions. And maybe we can find some more um, distant relatives and stuff. So we're working on it. His daughter's great at the DNA and the <laughs> ancestry and all that. Yeah, so our parents are all gone, so it's up to the kids to, to carry on. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.